This is the day that the Lord has made, so let us rejoice and be glad in it. Hello and happy Friday. Good evening. I am Pastor A.D. Robeson, Pastor of True Vine NBC here in Houston, Texas. Now, thank you so much for joining us once again. And today, for the pastoral moment, I want to talk to you about and encourage you and talk about the unchanging God that we serve. We serve a God who never changes. And the unchanging God, mankind is constantly changing every single day, like the seasons. Our mood changes, our character changes, our attitude, our appearances, etc., etc., etc. Everything that has been created is constantly changing. But God, somebody say, but God, who is the creator, does not change. He does not change. He is constant. He is immutable. What does it mean that God is unchanging? When it, when it is said that God is unchanging or immutable, it does not mean that he can change, but simply does not. He simply does not change. It means that he cannot change. God was the same when he created the earth as he as it is today. I'm telling you, he will always be exactly the same in all his ways, his perfections and glory for all eternity. He is not some fictional mythological God whose who people are at the mercy of his fickle attitude. The only true God is unchanging. He is always loving and always just. That and all these things discussed throughout this section, God is unchanging. He is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. He does not change his mind, but he is steadfast. So I have a few verses, of course, that you can run with, that you can talk about when you want to talk about the unchanging God, the unchanging God that he is. So he's the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. And that's coming from James, the book of James, chapter one, verse 17. Every good gift and perfect gift is from above, coming down from the father of lights, with whom there is no variation or shadow due to change. So he is a God that never changed and every perfect gift come from him. He's amazing. He's God. He's Elohim. He's God all by himself. And that is amazing. Then we have the book of Psalm, the book of Psalm 102, 102 verses 25 through 27. And it reads of old, you founded the earth and the heavens are the work of your hands. Even they will perish, but you endure and all of them will wear out like garment, like clothing. You will change them and they will be changed. But you are the same and your years will not come to an end. So Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today and forevermore. And that is amazing. That is so amazing. You're, I'm telling you, he is the same. We change. Everything changed. When you look around you, this planet, this place change, everything changes. However, God remains the same. The word of God remains the same because that is God spoken word. And then we come to a point of the unchanging nature of God, the unchanging nature of God. The Bible teaches us that there are some things that God cannot do. God cannot lie, right? He cannot lie. That's Titus 1 verse 2. And then we have Hebrews chapter six, verse 18. And then God cannot sin or do wrong. That's Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse four. And then we have God cannot change for God says of himself. That's Malachi three and six. And it reads, for I, the Lord, do not change. Therefore, you, O sons of Jacob, are not consumed. And so God does not change. I mean, he 
He he never changed his attitude, nothing. Because our ways are not his ways, and his ways are not our ways. And so he's he he's not like us. He's different. And, and he's different and he's magnificent in all his ways. And I love God so much. And I love to talk about how he's so immutable and how he never changes. And he's the same. And I can always depend on God. I don't have to worry about him changing on me, going against me or nothing like that, turning his back on me. He is God because he is the same. And I love him so much for that, that he never changes. He never changes. And, and believe me, there are a lot of folks um, one day. They're, they're iffy. They're sometime. Um, one day they, they, they have a good attitude. The next moment they don't. I mean, so they wishy-washy people. However, God is not like that. God is not like that. And then we have God's unchanging ways. God's, God's unchanging ways. That's coming from the book of Isaiah, chapter 55, verses 8 through 11. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, there it is, nor are your ways my ways, declares the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways. And my thoughts are, uh, are also. For as the rain and the snow came down from heaven and do not return there without watering the earth and making it bare and sprout and furnishing seed to the sower and bread to the eater, so will my word be which goes forth from my mouth, it will not return to me void without accomplishing what I desire and without succeeding in the matter for which I sent it. And so his word never changed. Nothing about him never changed. He's God. He's God. Nothing changes about him. I mean, he's the same God that was with Abraham. He's the same God that was with Jacob and Isaac. He was the same God that was with uh, Ruth. That was, he's the same God that was with David. He's the same God that was with Solomon. He's the same God that was with Apostle Paul and Peter and John. He's the same God that's with us today. And he is, he is God all by himself. In the word of God, God has declared who he is, what he has done, and what he is doing in the world. All of it is true because the unchanging God cannot lie nor change his ways. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for joining us for the pastoral moment. And I'm telling you, Receive this word. Keep this in your heart that God is the unchanging God. We serve a God who's unchanging. We serve a God who's immutable. We serve a God who stays the same. And, and we thank God for that. We thank God for that. And God bless you. Tune in Sunday for a mighty word of God. Please come and join us Sunday morning at eight o'clock in the morning for, for a video. And I'm telling you, you, you don't want to miss it. Please join us. And here at True Vine, we thank you so much for all your support, all your loving kindness, all your donations, whatever you're doing for us. We thank you so much and God bless you. For we are the church of love. God bless. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to this channel and join our online Christian family. Tithes, offerings, and donations can be made via Cash App at dollar sign tvmbc or by mail at true vine missionary baptist church 1407 grove street houston texas 77020 thank you so much and have a blessed day